Where my headphones at? You them yeah, yo headphones. Shit I don't know. Shit in the car. <laughs> all right, all right. Yo forget, 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 I don't forget, know, sir. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> my sound is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sound okay. decent. No, no, you sound fucked up. Oh, man. <laughs> y'all be on it. <laughs> they be on it. <laughs> I'm just talking. No, y'all good. As long as you don't, if you don't yell, you know, bro, you that, know I get that, a little loud. Even better. You, know, you know that Hennessy gets. As long get as better. you don't yell, that's that's even better, sir. Yeah. Uh, so I be trying to tell mm-hmm. my sneaky link. As long as you don't yell, you know. All right, you go ahead and start this one. Oh up. shit! <laughs> <laughs> my ghetto son. That was him. Yeah, that's the only nigga that knock on the door. Like Cairo that. in this bitch. All right, <laughs> all right go ahead, go ahead, cue it up, gang. Y'all need to get in tone because. It's a cultural conversation. It's a cultural conversation. It's a cultural this conversation. Do y'all want to talk about last yeah, week? I mean, we okay. can't. We can talk. I can talk. I mean, okay. Shit, so look, <laughs> welcome back, cultural conversation. It's your boy Steph. This is episode seventy-one point 71. five. Seventy-one point five. And we want to apologize because we came back to a strong start, and then a strong start, a strong and fast start, and also to a quick. Hard ending because we had this dude come up in here and he kind of fucked up the whole podcast. He fucked up the whole vibe. My man's was only supposed to be the cameraman. Cam <laughs> comes in here, he trying to give us topics. He walking in front of the camera. He acting like a butler. He's cool in real life. Yeah. But as far as it's that podcast, wrong with him, it was just. It so just, with that being said, if you know we doing a podcast, you come over. You're not even allowed in the room because we tried it and it didn't work. Like sit as a bystander, listen to the conversation. Go sit in the fucking waiting room. That's 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 you it, can't even all. sit in here. The closest you getting is outside the window. But that's I know what, what happened was he was everything was Gucci until the liquor started hitting a little bit, man, and it, it was like, man, I can't just sit here and not talk. I got to be part to, of the conversation. Look, <laughs> we're trying to hold, we're trying to hold conversations, and he pulling the people. We trying to hold a conversation I'm out like, of the conversation. I'm like, hey, Trey, he like. <laughs> the whole time, the I'm just like, oh. Hey, so so hold on, just for, for I'm waiting for replies and shit. I'm just like, so what you think? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so for all the people who ain't tuned in on live right now, Stefan, let them know what you're doing. Because everybody see it anyway. What? <laughs> everybody <laughs> see it anyway. Everybody Damn see it anyway. Damn you fucking so what you doing bitch. anyway? <laughs> Hey, what you doing? What you doing? Look at this. Look, Damn, look at this. no, no, you can't. No, no, no. no. We, that's super dead. That's super, dead. super dead. This the budget. This the budget buddy look right here. This is, the budget oh, budget buddy you. pack, bro. Look you gotta. You can't you know even what? do all that. You know what? I just want to let y'all know we were starting this episode off and Trail was hosting. He's never hosting again. Bro, see, I got. See, <laughs> this is why they don't let me host. You cannot. Me off already. Don't you know they say you can't give niggas power. You want the niggas that can't give power to. We, we, bro, because with power comes great responsibility. That Clearly, you can't I'm irresponsible. Well, Oh, Peter, <laughs> but anyway, I see it, but I don't care. No, nah, you know that nigga. That's back to Sam Raimi shit. He, the you same know. woman who told him that comes great responsibility. He let die, like, <laughs> like he like I want to hear that <laughs> shit, mom. He didn't Click. let him. He didn't let anyway, him. Anyway, anyway, so topic of discussion today, y'all, is a, I I think is a very good one, and I'm gonna start off while I got my viewers up. Tune mm. in, tune in. Hopefully, tune it goes in, up, in. up, up. You a hater. Yeah, hey, they, they gonna, Ooh, they gonna, I, nigga, that was on, the dimple is going to Nigga, that was it. that was positivity. When you get one of these, damn, people like to see that. What the other one? Uh, anyway, it, it, I got bit. See, Goof that, 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 was, that was childhood. Anyway, anyway, so to the topic of discussion, well, I got y'all five here, and I, I would love to hear y'all input. <laughs> y'all five. Is, uh, yeah, y'all five. I, I recognize oh, my viewers. Fuck. You good. Go ahead. Come on, man, go! You fucking this shit up, go! <laughs> anyway, uh, yo, whining ass. I'm gonna talk about that later. Anyway, topic of discussion is um, uh, what did I say it was? It was medical marijuana. No, no, it wasn't medical marijuana, jackass. High medical issues. Uh, high, yeah, high medical issues from loved ones. 
Do y'all think that is a, is it's appropriate? Do y'all think it's fair to the loved ones? Have you and seen a scenario where that happened or something recently? A, I've seen a scenario. Actually, I have. Honestly, um, I know a person um, that I just found out maybe a couple of weeks ago that their significant other was sick. And then just a couple of days ago, they found out that their significant person has a few days before they're dead. What the and, um, fuck? I mean, no, this is, I've heard this time and time, time Wait, like, time, do you know time. these people personally or you just saw people, it? I know these I know, but I've heard this story plenty of times before. But recently, it's just since we've been doing this podcast, I'm like, man, this is a good topic to have while we have, I mean, you know, while we got this, you know what I mean, this uh, platform, platform or whatever. Yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, so like I said, a couple of weeks ago, they found out they were sick. A couple of days ago, they found out they were, they're dying. And, um... They found out at the same time that they found that they were dying. They found out that this person was sick longer than a couple of weeks, mm. uh, and they knew. And they, the person that's dying, they knew about it. They just kept it. A, they just kept it a secret. <sighs> so I feel like me personally, me personally, in my opinion, I feel like that's very selfish. I feel like whatever your reasoning for keeping it from your loved ones, I feel like that's that's yourself. You're not giving your people time enough to prepare. Yeah. Not saying that you will ever be prepared for death. Mm-hmm. Of a loved one or death in general, but if I if you if you wake up and have a car accident and die, it's like okay, I wasn't prepared for that. Of course, I'm, I'm hurt, mm-hmm. and I can't be mad at you. It was an accident. But if you were dying for two, three, four years, and I find out a week or two before you die, of course I'm gonna be hurt just as much. But now I'm also angry because mentally I'm thinking you were at full health. You was physically healthy. I was gonna say. So did they? You said they know they were sick, but did they know they were dying? Or did they just uh, they, know they were sick? They, of course, they didn't. I mean, the sickness was a, a dying sickness. Okay. So it's like they did not know that it was it was uh they right. wasn't dying. It just they they just failed to inform their significant other. Like I'm laying next to you damn near every night, and I just chose to keep this a secret. I feel like <laughs> technically that's kind of sort of. I mean, that's lying in a relationship, which I think is frowned upon. Selfish because you think it's selfish too because uh. If I know my mom is dying, I'm not be finna be going to work every fucking day. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? If you know somebody dying, you're not finna be going to work every day. You don't know that you're just living life regular as fuck. you just out here just spending all your regular time. you just out here spending all your time doing regular shit versus if you knew you, if you, knew you didn't have the time, then you knew yeah, you would be doing other things with your time. I mean, but at the same time, like, people live with cancer for five, ten, or whatever year. I don't know how long people live with cancer, but people, you find out you got cancer, you know, sometimes people be cancer. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, you know, whatever it is, but um, at the same time, sometimes sometimes the cancer is so aggressive, you just can't avoid the death part mm-hmm. aspect of it. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like if you, if, you, if you get diagnosed with cancer, you don't take the proper precautions or, you know, the proper steps to beat it, then maybe... You, you can't avoid the death part. But if you don't tell your family that, hey, I got cancer, yeah. I feel like that's selfish to me because I'm just carrying on day yeah. to day. And I ain't saying, I mean, I would go, if my mom told me right now, I got cancer, I would, of course, go to her, you know what I mean? I would talk to her. I would maybe take, even if I decided to take a couple days off right now, mm-hmm. but I can't take a year off. Mm-hmm. It's not like the doctor saying she's going to die in a week. If she was, then yeah, I'll take the week off. I'm going to spend every moment I can with my mom because I know she's going to die Sunday. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying, like, if they just diagnosed her with cancer, I wouldn't take the damn year off until she. No, died, but like. you you would probably like spend your free time a little bit more relative to her. Like, you would probably be like, okay, I used to just sit in here and play the game on Sunday. Yeah, I'm just go over my mom's house on Sunday. You might take your game over your mom's house and sit and play the game over there with her if you know she got. Ca- you spend the night with her, if you yeah, because you don't because you don't know. Like, for instance, you don't listen to brilliant idiots, but I know you heard listen to it when. Andrew asked, he said, how many times do you go see your mom? Mm-hmm. Right? And Andrew, and they don't live in the same state as their mom. He was like, he kind of like holidays, like once Yeah, twice. once to three months that, type shit. If you shit. add 10 years of that, like say you go, your mom lived 10 more years, right? You only seen I'm her I'm going to come tell you, Stefan. I mean, Steve, hold on. You only, you only seen her 20 times. You know what I'm saying? So if you know that, you know, she got cast, even though she can beat her or whatever, you probably would spend your time a little bit more relative to being with her. Like you might, especially if you got kids, you probably going to be like, you know what? Um, I'm glad you told me this. Now the kids gonna spend more time with you. Versus if you didn't know that every Sunday you're like, oh, we might go over there next Sunday. I, 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 that makes sense, but at the same time, like I said, it's not. 
right now, if she get diagnosed today, it's not a guarantee she... It's, first of all, it's not a guarantee she's going to die just because she get diagnosed with No, cancer. but we just watched a dude so, that our age just died from cancer. So you mm. agree with... I just you it's just you just can't I could be offer a different like perspective. This. I mean, no, I just we went to I think, with, with yeah. I think for the, that's for what the, I'm about. like I think most people can understand why that person holding that information isn't okay, right? I think most of us can understand yeah. like why that's not okay, right? Well, I got a person. So who says I think it that is. The, I was I don't know what they said, but we're gonna see <laughs> no, what he got, says. I got a reason. Yeah, no, yeah. I, 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 like, I, 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 I realize we, go to we treat you we first. treat death very selfishly. Very selfishly. Yeah, like that's all I'm yeah, like we, as people that live, <laughs> when that we is, live, right? Is, yeah. When people die, we treat the whole thing about ourselves. Like you know what I'm saying? Like people disrespect people' wishes when they pass, like the way they want to go and yeah. stuff. I told I told my lady, I told my mama, I said, don't have no funeral for me. Don't. Don't give me no coffin. Just freeze my body and then put me in the fucking dirt. You, like, Sarah. all that shit is crazy. And it's like, even say I, I'm diagnosed with something and I don't tell y'all. I don't want y'all living y'all life on me because I'm finna go. I'm a, I want y'all to be what we going to be. And I may, I'm not, because the thing is, I wouldn't do this. So I'm just trying no, to guess I, from I, their person's I mind. Why, that's why I was going to say. That's why they would say it. Cause yeah. It's kind of like. I don't want you worried about me because this is it. And you still got to live your life. I don't want you. I don't, may not even want you to be sad. When I die, throw a party for me. Bitches, balloons, Bacardi, and weed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't but want you know, I don't want that. I think what that comes with, I think that only comes with when you have a strong and a good relationship. If you don't have one of those, because the whole time. You're talking about you, with the people that yeah, may want to know. Cause the, yeah, because like, if you have a good relationship with somebody and you just like, and they're like, all right, just I'm going to go on it, you know, just respect my then it's easier for come on, man. Stop, just <laughs> that's throwing me off, man. <laughs> just, You're so shy. No, it ain't that. It's just like it, it feel like when I'm. It feel like when you out with somebody, we going live. We going live. <laughs> yeah. And I'll be like, get that shit out my face. All like, right, I'll leave it on I me. Mean, then. Cool, they, my partner's like shy, yeah. I just would prefer to be stationary. I'm I trying to talk. Then you just like, oh, look at this nigga now. Like, just <laughs> go ahead, nigga. <laughs> but no, um. Cause I'm gonna get to Steve after that. But now I was saying mm -hmm. like, uh, damn, why was I, I going with off. it? Yeah, what was I going with it? Uh, fuck, I forgot what I was going with it. All right, so my boy, yo, 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 significant other. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he just he called said, your twin <laughs> your significant other. Your twin say sometimes telling them makes them annoying. Annoying. <laughs> Why you say sometimes like he dealt That's with it he on he more than one occasion? That's what I was going to say. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. When you got a good relationship, you don't really worry about, like, mending things that may have hurt. Dude, like, for instance, if you had a bad relationship with, like, your parents or something. Yeah. When they pass away, you probably might be, um, you probably might be thinking, like, it might be regret. You might be thinking, like, man, maybe I should have fixed this one. Yeah. That, I'm only saying from that aspect, because I just watched uh, the dude that played Biggie, his interview. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about Tupac, how Tupac, he wished he did some things Tupac did. Because he was like, my mom was at it, but when she passed, I just was like, damn, I seen a Tupac movie. I should have did this when she was here. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people that I see that, that have people pass where they say stuff about, like, things that they regret. You know what I'm saying? That they wish they could have said. That's the, only, that's the and only And you saying that's that the think, reason why you think, should tell no, people? I think that's something that, that's something that somebody, that's something that somebody might go through. You know what I'm saying? Because they feel Not like knowing. they can't they can't fix nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's all gone. You can't. Yeah. I mean, let me, I'm going to go to the comments real quick because, I mean, before I make my suggestions, Steve say uh, sometimes telling them makes them annoying. They can make you want to change what you want to eat and how you live your life. Don't get me wrong. I can't see because it's all in my shirt. Why do you say sometimes like this is a I reoccurring know, event? Say, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I do think your spouse deserves to know, but it depends on the severity. And you can bring all sorts of new stress into your household, but death-like symptoms is a little different. I think your significant other is yeah. not somebody you keep it from. Yeah, I think you keep it from <laughs> your friends? You keep you from can, people you that ain't keep, close. To be, to be honest, you the woman you let, or the person you let next to you, you should keep shit from. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, I, I, it's not like married from. or not, it's like they probably have... One of the people that's uh, mostly invested into your life. My friend Tierra so, Williams say it's selfish. I'm it's selfish her, to to not say anything. Yeah. Yeah. No, I wasn't it. saying like I He's I would do it. I was just excited. yeah. I was just giving I get, that perspective. I get it. It's just yeah. like like I don't like attention. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Point blank and like so if I if I knew I was sick, I don't want everybody in my face talking about yeah. Hey man, you okay? Like it's like when yeah. somebody pass away, I I promise I can't imagine being in Leon. I mean in Freddie and, and, and Avery shoes because yeah. they know like that's like me and you or, or me and him. It's like everybody, everybody hit you. Could yeah. you imagine everybody hitting you? Yeah, man. I know that was your bro, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I you know, swear. You would be like, bro, just I give me some space. And that's what's crazy, bro. Like, oh, I, yeah. I've never, I could sit here and say 31 years, I've never lost somebody that was close, close to me, bro. And it, and it scares me because when it happened, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Like, I've never lost nobody that I talk to on a daily basis. I lost people that I've talked to maybe at a point and then we kind of fell off. But yeah. still, like, nobody that I've really, really, really been close with I've ever lost. And I don't even know how I would deal with it. So, like you said, like, I, but I know me. Yeah. I don't even tell people when I get a new car. Yeah. Like, so I don't even need the congrats, congrats, congrats. Yeah. So if I lose somebody and people want to care, it's like, bro, leave me the, f- I don't want that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm and like, a, like you said, I, I just, I will keep certain things from people. Yeah, yeah. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm make my comment. I want to read uh, Tierra Williams' comment first, and then I'm going to make my comment on that. Uh, she said, "If you know you're dying and choose not to tell your spouse you're selfish, it doesn't af- it don't affect it don't just affect you, and you choosing to not tell them because how you think they will react to mm-hmm. it don't make it okay either." Now I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, I read that and I also want to say I, I lost some I have lost a lot of loved ones. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's that's like when I say close, like I'm talking about close, like brothers. Close. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like I got blood by by blood by parents. I have two siblings like my, that came out my mom like I did. Outside mm. of that, I have very close family like that. Even Stefan ain't no, I mean, this nigga's blood. Mm-hmm. Like, can't nobody tell me no different. But anyway, I've lost some close people and I literally, I know one, for example, was, uh, let me check, make sure his mom not tuned in because I don't want to say anything. No, you ain't got to use a name. I'm not going to use a name, but no. I, if she, she, she'll know if, you know, no. if she's tuned in. Okay, she's not here. Um, but anyway, he just out of nowhere turned up gone. I'm gonna use the word gone. Mm-hmm. And um, after after he was gone, of course it hurt, it, it devastated everybody because nobody saw it coming. But after it happened, we found out that he had met, that they had medical issues. But was he known of he, them? Yeah, he knew of it. Oh. He just chose to tell a select few, and by a select few, I mean nobody in the family. Damn. Which which. Initially, like I say, when it happened, it was like, damn, you know, it hurt. In depth to anybody close to you, loved, friend or whatever, it's going to hurt. But when you find out that they knew something was wrong, I'm talking about like medically they knew yeah. and they just chose not to. It, it not only hurts, it, it angers you too. Because it's like, why the yeah, fuck? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? For so not sure. only am I dealing with the, the death, I'm also angry. Like, why the but fuck again, you say nothing? Again. I, I think that's some selfish shit. And I don't, I don't give it no passes. No, no. I'm not saying. No again, passes. I'm just thinking. Me and my mom. I, I'm I'm like like I said, did, me personally, I wouldn't do that to my loved ones. But I'm just trying to put myself Are in you this person. it's okay for somebody else, though? You say you put nope. yourself in somebody else's shoes, right? No, right. I'm tr- I'm talking about their train of thought. I'm not saying like it's okay. I'm talking about their train of thought. And I mean, as us, like I said, as living motherfuckers, if we're not dying, who's really? <laughs> if 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 my life is gonna be gone, regardless of what anybody does, who's really the one that's suffering? Like I'm dying, regardless of how you family. But you, you're you still going to live, bro. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, who's really the that's one? That's a good segue. That's the, who, you're going to live. Who's so, really suffering? So what, that's a good segue. So what's worse? It's worse. Living in pain or death? What do you mean? That's a very... I got... No, I got... I, I got, never... I might have a way different perspective on death than I other mean, people. I mean, no, everybody... But at the end of the day, I'm going to tell y'all the facts about death. You're no longer living. Nobody. <laughs> I was gonna say. Was, I'm like, what you gonna say? I was like, what you gonna say? What are these facts? Are you okay. reborn? Are you <laughs> in heaven? Are you in hell? You can read it. You okay. can believe it. But I'll go for first. a fact, you live it. Yeah. You're, you're not living. What I, I think, what is I, it? <laughs> nothing pain, applies to everyone uh, but life and death. Yeah. <laughs> nothing applies to everybody but life and yeah. death. So my thing is, what's <laughs> worse, living in pain or death? Because my real quick, I'm gonna let them talk. No, I'm not finna say nothing right. Real quick, death. You're dead. You don't feel anything. Right. You don't know what happens. Well, you, can't, you can't even say you don't feel anything because you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't personally know, but yeah. I know what I feel alive. 
I know if I go yeah. poke a dead person, if I if I go slap the shit well, out of somebody in the casket, they're not gonna move. Well, you, you gotta think about me. I'm like. What? You well, know what you know what you say. You say live is what's worth living and living and paying a death. It's but a pain. what kind but of pain is it? Manager? Not pain? even like, not even that though, bro. What I what I was gonna say was the reason some some people even choose death is because they're living in pain. That, That's okay, exactly. So go, Trey, did you hear me? Uh-uh. Some people's reason the, their death comes because they're living in pain. But some they, people's death. So I'm not. Ta- this of course don't apply to everybody. Some people's death come from living in pain. Uh, uh, so death gotta be easy because life is hard. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, saying, I, would, I would, I would probably rather die than live in pain because, mm. for one, like I've been through times where it was like real rough, and like I've I've been almost envious of people that I'm like, they ain't worried like, about they shit. don't have to they, worry about, they're anything. not worried about no nothing. shade to no, it's like that to me, it's just it, like that's it's crazy that's, that, that I that's never. Why people, Speaking of this, you know Regina's son. Regina, Regina son yeah, committed just suicide. committed suicide. But you gotta, R-I-P. Say that. You R-I-P. gotta think when people do that is because there's no, to them hey. there's no peace here for them. Yeah. So yeah, they right. just want to. They, they think with. that's peace, Excuse me. you know. And that's not mm-hmm. speaking for everybody, but I know a lot of them. That's on Capital Steve's killed himself. Dre Bass, like I hope you found what you was looking for. And so you think Joey? Right? I don't know. I never looked Capital deep into Steve's it. Did, no, I know, but oh. did Joey know he was on the verge? Or he probably I, just I took the know. fact I that think, it was suicide I think, I and was like, just knew, he think, like, if he yeah. killed himself, he probably was, didn't want to be here. And I think he was dealing with certain And that's things. what I was going to say. I think, yeah. I, I, no, no, no shade to nobody who, I don't, you know what I mean? I, you know, I repeat everybody committed suicide. But I feel like, again, most people commit suicide because they can no longer deal with the pain that they living through. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? A lot of people, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I was raised, I, I think I had a pretty good childhood, adult, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. I, my life ain't horrible. I go through my ups and downs just like everybody else. And I've been hurt, you know what I mean? But a lot of people just deal with so much pain that they feel like they can't take it anymore. Right. So they're out is death. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I just feel like, not saying that death is easy, because it, it, if it is easy, it's only easy on the person that's mm-hmm. dead. It's definitely yes. hard on every... And that's why I... And again, I'm not judging nobody who's committed suicide, but it, it angers me because like it's easy for you to kill yourself. But look at the pain you putting on your mom, your dad, your brothers, your cousin. You 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 are, you, you think it, it's easy? Yeah, but I mean, no, no. Once you're dead, I mean, I don't know what happens after life. But, but in life, if somebody that I know committed suicide, I'm gonna be so angry with them. Not only am I hurt that you're gone. But I'm be so angry okay. now. You have there's so much this pain. The thing. So much weight this on the my thing. Shoulders. Okay, I want you to start listening to Brit Idiots too, because this this will. So one. Oh, day, but suicide is selfish. So, okay, mom. So one of the day, one of the day. <laughs> That's your mama. Yeah, now nah, suicide is <laughs> selfish though. One of day ads on there. They talking about mental health and they like you don't want your friend that works at Home Depot changing fixing your light bulbs and all this and that. Like, okay, you talking about somebody maybe selfish. I'm gonna come like, to you, Tia. And you like well, you got mom here, brother here, like. None of those people can really help them. There might be, be a level where they can't help them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can only say so much. You can only listen so much. We got group chats where some of us, we may be going through something. All of us may be like, no, you should do this. And the other person like, no, I'm going to do this anyway. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's like, you can only say so much. It's just like, uh, I think that's why therapy is so important, especially in relationships, because you could be telling your spouse something all day and it's going to go through it, but one ear and not the other, but if a therapist or somebody else said... It's totally different. It's a way different experience. When you hear shit from a stranger, a, a certified well, stranger, sometimes, sometimes <laughs> it do, it do hit you different. Sometimes people suicide without even seeking any help. Yeah, but yeah. at the same time, at the same, I had this discussion. This is why I asked for a black doctor when I went to a doctor. I said, because I don't need nobody racism. judging me. No, I don't need nobody. I judge you every day. I don't need nobody <laughs> judging me, ta- asking me dumb shit like, well, why you ain't have a doctor in the last 15 years? You know how hard it was for me to even find a doctor once I even got insurance. Yeah. And before then, I had no idea how to get insurance. As a young black male with nobody, you can call all the... I done went to the county hospital and tried to find help. And the only thing they can do is put me on a payment plan. When I see other people going around with medical cards and stuff like this, it's like, it's hard. When you don't have no information on this stuff, that's why I think there's so many black men out here that don't have insurance and going out here and not getting checked up by a doctor because it's a lack of information. Mm-hmm. So if you can't even find a doctor until your dick burning, how you going <laughs> to find somebody when you your, your head all fucked up? Even now with my insurance, I'm still trying to find a therapist. I'm going to come to you I'm going to come to you I don't even, I don't want to get off of this topic because yeah. we cooking, but... I, and then I got some comments but to read too. I was, when you said that, I was wondering, what if you got a black doctor that still you know asked what? them questions? You know what? I think I would be pissed. Niggas ruin niggas too. 
My mom said yeah. that too, but you know what? Mom was like, "Our black doctors I have is fucked up." But I was like, Damn. "Look Tierra. where your network is." You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and like where are you, you going go to, for the yeah, black doctor? Like we in Chicago, we got one of the best uh, hospitals out where UIC, North, or whatever, no, in Northwestern. North, 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 we got two yeah. of the best. Shout out hospitals. to my so, mama. You know you're not gonna be going there and getting like no ass doctor, yeah. and if you do, like the service is rated so high, I'm pretty sure it's not hard to change your doctor. Like, you mm-hmm. know, I'm, yeah. I'm not fucking with. And him. I got a, I want another one. I got, a, I got yeah. a shout out. I got mm-hmm. a shout out, Tierra Williams too. She did. I like this comment. She said, "But the way you live and grieve after afterwards matter. Coping in a healthy way matters. The way you lose someone changes completely on how you live when they are gone." So. If mm. again, I, I always use yeah, my so family, my, my immediate people, my mom. That person my should take that friends. into consideration it with is, them mom, leaving. So if my mom got cancer off a specific thing, like let's just say meats, for example, and that's how she, I would. I, me personally, I would probably try to wing myself off of meats. I would try to get my brothers to like, hey, this is how mom died. You know what I mean? But versus her living her life and not telling anybody that she was sick and why she was sick, and then just dropping dead two weeks after us finding out. She had a sickness, and now we don't even know where it came from, how it came about, and this is why. And now I'm like, I'm again, I'm be hurt because my mom gone. I'm be angry once I found out that she knew. You know what I mean? And then again, if this is how she got it, I'm still carrying my life, living my life, not even knowing this is what get, this is what killed my mom. Now I'm doing this the way I would usually do it. When if I'd have known, you I know probably what else would. I think is selfish? Just the lack of. The lack of uh, the lack of putting everything together by you just not telling nobody, like we sit here and watch celebrities deal with shit like celebrity rappers when they die, nobody knows what to do with their estate, nobody knows what to do with their yeah money. No, yeah, but, and you gonna sit yep. here and not say it. nothing and nobody nobody know what to do unless you had a previous conversation, which I'm pretty sure a lot of black families didn't have like when I yep. die. This who you call. This the phone number. Tell them you this. They're going to get you this. And this is what you do. You know I, what's so crazy? My OG literally did that with me today. I can imagine your My I, mama I was like, my mama was, was like, this is where everything you need. You got to. When I'm, when I'm, if, you got when to. I'm dead. <laughs> like, you got, you literally. have to. Because you know what? <laughs> when, you, when, when somebody passed on, my grandmother passed, nobody could find nothing. Damn. So. They, they, yeah, especially when you get up there in age. Which is also another great segue. Go ahead. Because grandmothers ain't grandmothers like they used to be. I love them all. That's my best friend. But that nigga your ain't ma- no grandma. Your mama. <laughs> she not a. Well, I don't know. No, you, got nephew, you got nephew. You got nephew. Oh, she, I thought you said but she, she ain't wasn't. No grandmother. She got nieces and nephews. What? Yes, nigga. Uh, why is your mom and your mom? <laughs> ain't she on here? Yeah, I don't care. I'm keeping a buck on this ball. Y'all already know what's Y'all going down. Y'all see this nigga man. is Look. talking about his mama no. while she watching him. Hey, it's my mama. She know what it is. But what I'm saying is, like my granny, G. and I, I, I bomb with my my grandmother, my granny. We used to go on on on, on um, uh, family reunions every two years, and we used to go on road trips, Mississippi, Memphis. You know what I mean? Like eight hour trip sometimes. She'd pull over to the road, have hot breakfast for us. Hot. I'm talking, she'd pull out this whole tent, these tables, these cooking, whatever. I don't know. I was a shorty. I mean, I, I'm old enough to remember it. But when that lady passed, gee, my grandma, uh, my grandma, my actual grandma, she'd look mm. at us. she said, I'm not my mama. And she had, she won't even have sandwiches for Wait, she I'm like, not my mama. Like, she said she wasn't her yeah, mother. Yeah, my granny was her mother. So when when she when my granny passed, my great grandmother. Yeah, I'm confused. Just say, just say great grandmother. I know what you're saying. Yeah, my great grandmother. Because oh, I'm like, what are you saying? <laughs> I'm you, my great grandmother. When she okay. passed, my grandmother would say, "I'm not my mama," and she barely okay. had sandwiches for us half the time. And then, yeah. I mean, she's still alive. She ain't gone. But it's like my my grandma. I ain't have no great grandma on my mama's side. But my grandma, she like. What's the family reunion type? Thing? <laughs> <laughs> now, I know my mom, my mom, oh my god! Like I don't want to throw my mom under the bus, but she's a grandmother now. Yeah, they, they, my they, mama, they, grandma, she let my damn kids do whatever the what fuck you they mean? want. I ain't disrespect you, she mom. Let them, I told she you. She gonna say some fuck you, you too. <laughs> I love you. I'm gonna keep it a buck with my people. Like. She said fuck you too. <laughs> You gonna get a call at this you time. Know you, oh my, you know, you know, you know. But me and my brother, oh God. me and my brother, look. As soon as this live come down, it's over. Oh God. Of course, Whitaker. I don't know what he mean by that. But my, <laughs> I don't my, know my, what my that brother, means. My, what, me, my my oldest brother, he trying to get the family, which 
which I think <laughs> is, is a good thing. My oldest brother trying to get the family reunion and shit cracking. He just trying to get the family to be more. more I've been important. trying to be that nigga. Families need to be more together. We I've do. been trying to be that nigga, G, because uh, so I don't right really now. care for it because I, I, you I, said I, families are families ass. Are <laughs> ass. <laughs> they ass though. They ass though. So I feel ass like we right just now. telling on ourselves. That's no, no, not everybody. Ass. Everybody family. Okay, when was last big family? Well. This is life, though. Not immediate family, though. I can't do neither one of y'all. Y'all, honestly, I can't. Your family ain't shit. <laughs> I'm not saying they bad people, Hold but I'm on. saying you don't have a lot of. You sitting here talking about my family and shit. No, my mom ain't shit. You just said your mom. No, my mom ain't shit. My family as a as a the unit, whole, we do. Well, good. my family, we still do stuff. We just, it's just not a whole lot of us. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, so, that's like so. my my girl family ain't shit either. Y'all, because I remember when I started getting cool with. I know respect to nobody family. It started off by trouble. I don't want nobody mad at me. Yo, my family queuing where I go. They got my daddy right there, daddy. I'm telling these niggas that Granny was the shit, bro. My daddy, he a witness to this. He know my granny was his shit. I it's it's funny because yeah. I was that nigga that was just trying to get the uh, like I'm one of the older cousins out of the cousins. Like you know what I'm saying? Like our generation getting to be the oldest ones. And I was like, man, we got to We all got kids. My all my cousins got kids. I'm like, we got to start doing shit. Yeah. Well, we was kids. We always linked up every holiday. We used to Bro. just spend the night randomly. If we had a three day weekend, let's spend the night. We got to make sure our kids in touch. You, got you know to. what I'm saying? Like we finna be in charge of family reunions in some years. My and my family, family old. Like my, you like, gotta start conditioning each other to do that shit. Though. Yeah, you can't just you can't just wake up one day and your daughter's sixteen and be like, and ain't met her cousin, ain't met your cousins. Yeah, Cause yeah. I, I mean, I don't have any kids, so I don't mean no disrespect to nobody kids, but it's gonna be a point in time when your your daughter might come across a guy that she like. And she, it might be a cousin, you know. What I mean, <laughs> it, no, I'm. Well, I'm if, an, if it ain't a first though. cousin, it doesn't really matter. Southern shit. No, that's the second cousin. I'm your wife say, no, here, after you're the, nasty if, nigga if, if it's that. not the second cousin, then it doesn't matter. You're a nasty nigga. nigga. If it's if, if it's any bloodline, if it's past if it's past second cousin, it doesn't matter. You're a nasty nigga. Fifteenth is not happening. If it's fifteenth cousin and I know you, you blood is not happening. You know my mama's sister's nephew niece. Bro, yeah, it's, not, it's not. It's not happening, bro. What you mean? Okay, what if they so married third, it? So what if they married in? Your fucking third cousin. What is that? Your your you, cousin's child's child? I don't no, know. you said y'all no, know what that word was. If it's second, if it's after, after the, the second, second, it don't matter. <laughs> I didn't say I'm trying to fuck Pop my cousin. Tony I'm just in, saying. Pop Tony in five minutes ago said, "Great show, keep going." You just <laughs> he, he like what he see. That's what's up. He like horrible show. You can see some good shit in five that minutes. Fake support. I don't want the fake. <laughs> that shit. ain't fake if he saw what he like. But listen, how does if it's your 16th cousin? That's not blood no more. First of all, you're nasty. I don't, I don't really care. want your. Okay, so what if they? <laughs> what if they married? In? What if they <laughs> married in? What if they got married into the family? Cousins though. That's your cousin. It's still your wait. What? They're, They're not, not your, your cousin. cousin. My blood. I just, well, cousin. that's why. I, well, you said if you're my cousin, so I was asking. So my mom, my mom's, Let's get my mom's incest. niece. <laughs> it's not incest. I, I'm on his ass now. That's not incest. Okay. That's incest. <laughs> my mom's niece is my first cousin, right? My mom's niece. Y- y- yes. My auntie's daughter. Yes. My first cousin. Yes. yes. So my, my, my first cousin, <laughs> my first cousin's <laughs> children is what? Your first, that's your second, second cousin. Second cousin. Yeah. But my kids... My kids would be they 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 that, first. Cousins. That's like they. But yeah, what I'm saying your is, cousin's child. I don't even know what is that to your child. Are they like what? I'm, okay, let are me, they let me like put third like cousins? I got older cousins. I got older cousins. I got older cousins. I'm talking about like my mom's older. My yeah, mom's most of my cousins, cousins are older. So most their, of them. Their kids is my first cousin, but mind you, their kids is older than me because my my cousin's older. Than well, they not your first. They your second. Okay, if it's your I cousin's just, child, they're my second. Okay, they're my second, but they older than me. Okay, and now if they have kids. That'll make them my third cousin. Okay, and that right. Ain't so my age. So it's okay that I fuck them? No, I didn't say. You just said. I, I'm just saying it don't count. Anyway. I just said it don't count. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm not saying. So when we got. Hey, hey, hey Superfly said, what the fuck, bro? Mallow. What the fuck? <laughs> and, and, and that's his sister, I think. That's my sister. And, and yeah, what the fuck you talking about? Okay, <laughs> as we didn't let Ancestor Gadget get us off of the uh, topic. Please do. <laughs> all right. Please let Ancestor so, Gadget get us off That's going to be the topic. The I mean, reason, the uh, title. <laughs> the reason why I feel like a lot of us have fallen off of the tradition is because none of our black ass got homes. Wait, what? None of that's us got a, a house. That's, wait, wait, wait. That's, what's that? None but of that's us got a, a No, house. that's a Who valid reason. I said none of, none us, of us have a house. A house. But if, if we did have a house, then it would I think it would change. It still wouldn't be a home. No. Huh? What you mean? Because the house is not a home. Oh 
<laughs> if she's not there. <laughs> I'm just saying, we would have a house, a home, 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 baby. Because I, I don't have a house. What is your name? Oh, my God. You have an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a home, though. No, no, but he, no, he has a point. I have he a home. has a point. That, are you being all emotional? Bro, think about it. If you really oh, had a oh, fucking Oh, your sister said your cousin do want to see what you're talking about, though. What? Wait, what? Look, see, he's still Oh, my God. Look, anyway. Look, he tried to get me. That's what your sister said. What the fuck is she talking about? I'm in there, but you you trying to have relations with your family. Your cousin's child is your cousin. No, that's not how it works. Yeah. Your cousin's your brother, child your is not like a first gang. cousin, but that has nothing gang. to do with what I'm saying. I just hate when y'all wouldn't let the funny be the funny. Yeah, but anyway, I mean, your sister, I had it. No, like I was that. saying, <laughs> yeah. like I was saying, we can't have no barbecues because niggas live in apartments. Live in apartments, you burn your shit down. Bro, I got a grill in the back with the queue all day. Who you, really want to do that? No, first of all, they start, stop, look, no, stop it, bro. I on, you, I can stop. barbecue on the first floor. Who really want to come down three flights of stairs to go get meat? No, not not only that, you doing it illegally. You really doing You're doing shit. it illegally because you're on the second floor. You ain't supposed to have a grill. I ain't got, am I, I got a grill out there. That don't, I said you're not supposed. Everybody got to go outside. All right, so what y'all, what y'all, wait, wait. So He's so literally y'all, talking okay, about okay, a house. Okay. So you said a house because you, so you can't have a family event? That's it. I said that's. I said that's the reason why a lot of them don't go down. It plays. Really it plays a reason. You, the apartment you don't have to be in an apartment building. Y'all can get family go. My family you go lately to a park. for the last two or three years. B and B's are been new. Trying to go and play softball. Trying and, and barbecue. But, okay, listen. We're not because the younger generation is trying to get back. United, that's fine. To get but back you can wait. You can wait. What about the winter? Like you could do shit way the more winter, flu- we, we fluidly if you have your own crib. You can't travel with your whole but, family unless it's a family now, I, reunion. I hear you with the barbecue shit, but like, well, my, well, my, my if you have a house, aspect, it's just make shit yeah, easier. Aspect, it do, but it don't. Get, see, I know you got a big family. I got a big family. So it's easy. Shout out to so my like, family. Y'all not really <laughs> trying to pile up in nobody's house. Shit. And I've seen the houses y'all have to do it in. It's the big mini mansion type of like, right? Like your uncle house. First of all, my uncle house is piece it's of shit. pretty big. It's pretty big. It's piece of shit. But it's man, big. make your jokes, it's, but it's look, probably listen, big. <laughs> Back yard is so big they had a wedding ceremony back there. Come on, bro, you tripping? Like, got a, it got back, back the backyard big. Exactly. Don't make the house big. Exactly. That's what you gotta have. You it's gotta enough. That's, That's enough. Because you can split the people big. outside. But, okay, okay. Okay. Try, you're not trying to take my 15 family members and go to a park. They want to go <laughs> to a park. But put it like this, That's though. That's my old ass auntie. But he like said my 15. Though. It's best <laughs> to do something outside of home anyway. Because to be honest, whether y'all like it or not, family, just because you found them, I mean, I fuck with you. That's fine. No, yeah, that's, so, that's why it's different oh, like, sections of the house. No, 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 it's different sections. I'm not coming over there if I don't fuck with you. Well, then that don't matter you. regardless. If but, you don't fuck but, with the family, no, it don't no, matter no, where you live. I got family. more space. I'm saying no. <laughs> I got more space. It ain't so about that. It ain't about that. <laughs> it ain't about that. If, if, if us three is cousins, I love Stephon. I love you, my family. I just don't fuck with you because you're a fake ass. I'm not saying you is. But I'm just saying, if you's a fake ass, I don't fuck with you. So if Stephon say, hey, party at Mallow Creek, I'm not coming over Mallow Creek. I don't fuck with Mallow But if Stephon say, we having a family event, at the bowling alley, and Molly gonna be there. I'll go to the bowling alley because it's a public space. I don't. Find I get what you're saying. To the public I'm area. Just, I I'm just not gonna come saying, to your house. But I've never experienced that. I've never well, had. Family, no beef you like only your, got three people in your family. I mean, even still, I never had no. Beef. And your twin don't I, count. You don't like him. I ain't never had beef with my cousins or nothing like that. So I, get like, what, I, I get what I get what you're saying, but if it's that deep, you probably ain't coming to the park either. If they did, yeah, I don't know. Like if it's, I ain't never, I ain't never been that deep with my cousins. Cause I think I was not even that, bro. I think if it's that deep. Hey, if it's hey, enough, you know if it's a big enough, pack, it's yeah. a big enough function, bro. You ain't gonna care. like I don't know, bro. Like unless you fucking hate their guts, yeah. I, then you ain't gonna go to their house, which you probably won't go you in their presence. The niggas right. ain't like, I was I gonna just, say, like you, so might, you gotta hate somebody's guts to not go to their house. Damn it, family, I just don't fuck. family, no, hell family, no. fam. No. I think if it's I a regular person, I, I yes. Like, it's le- it takes less y'all, if you're just another person. Was I was finna y'all say, like, no, what's no, happening? Fa- That's the incest. I got family that I just, I, don't, I, I like them. I mean, I love them. I like you. You cool. I just don't want to be around. So, I so if they had, if they had, so, so you could all just, fiction. Bet th- this fact, the, no, I'm making up a scenario. Fiction, you said I'm making fiction. up a scenario. So that, that family member that you strongly dislike has the biggest house and they're having the fucking family reunion there. You're not going? If they're having a family reunion now, I'll go for a few minutes. You know what? I'll just see my okay. family. Out of three now. days. So Yeah, I'm not staying on. I'm definitely not the fuck not staying on fucking night over there. <sighs> yeah. You got me fucked up. Get a hotel. Yeah, Would, you get a hotel? Yeah. Would you get a hotel? Would you get a hotel? Yeah, close and, But you'll be at the functions. 
Not if it's at their house. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, they got a bar. All right, house. like it's like. But I mean, at the functions, it's not at this man's house. Like for I, example, my family. No, I meant the, the I meant the functions if they at, at the, the house. house. He's talking about we do a lot of functions at their house. I ain't say I like the guy. I mean, you know, but I'm saying though, you got families out of state that I'm not gonna fly in state to be at this nigga house for New Year's. I don't fuck with that nigga like that. Not saying I know, get that, fuck. but. How often is that this case? That, like that's a, that's, that's an a outlier. That that's a, but I'm t- but when he said about the house Y'all thing, bro. Can't ever work this. I was gonna say like, <laughs> is anybody trying to fix it? Right? Like and he's a, like, fuck you. I ain't ever fucking with you. That's <laughs> another thing. Though, prime. But but I think that's I'm an on, outlier. On I, I hear you though, but I think that's an outlier situation. I don't think most people hate their family to the point they never want to see them ever. And what he oh, was saying is, what he's saying is like. Family can't even keep it close knit the same if you don't have a house. Bro, my people always had a house. Most of the big functions was at my people's house. Where the cousins spend the night most of the time? At my house. Like, I, one of the best nights of my Gee, life with my childhood I, is when we had my, my grandma's birthday party I, there in G. Like, no seven people spent the night that had no intentions on spending the night. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that in an apartment. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, I'll yeah, never forget it. Can. I'll never forget it, bro. Yeah, you can, but you're not going to be inclined. Bro, motherfuckers will drive 40 minutes drunk, then sleep well, on the floor of an apartment, on the kitchen oh, of an apartment. Nice I'm not saying nobody will ever in life do it, but you... No, my the, grandma had the, my I know grandma you had the big one. It's just anybody's more comfortable doing shit in the house. And not only that, it's the, the security... The privacy, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's one of house. those things. It's he not saying that's the sole reason. It's just but a factor. I know for a fact when I used to go with my it's a factor. house and he be over there. Y'all need to stop running. You only got a hallway in one, <laughs> one extra room. Hey, and that'd be it. I mean, the only time that that shit popped off was we had to go over my great grandma house who lived in the apartment. Uh, other than hey. that. Other than that, we was at my auntie's hey. or my grandma's house. You yeah. know what I'm saying? With the bigger house. We had backyards. We was outside with the water hose getting wet. Yeah. Y'all yeah, got nothing. small families, don't y'all? Well, back then, I don't, know, what's small, I don't, I don't know what's small, shit. I don't know what's small. My family <laughs> old. It ain't small. Yeah, so you, so you ain't grow up with a bunch. Of, my thing is, G, my family, she, like, we would sleep on top of each other, and they would be calm because we just wanted to be around each other all day, every day mm-hmm. as kids growing up. Now, we got grown. Of course, we grown. But as far as growing up, G, like, it didn't have to be... You know what I mean? People I had in my apartment building just yeah. sleep on the floor. No covers half the time. <laughs> like, I'm talking about head to, I mean, head to foot this sometimes nigga said in no the bunk bed. Like, that's just what family, we family. Like, I smell your funky ass yeah. feet. I can dig it. Like, it's just family. So it ain't I, about I, I ain't knocking house. it. I'm not we, knocking we, it. We ain't always had houses. Bro. I think like, now that we, we grown I think now that we houses. adults and we notice everything that we didn't want as kids, I think we just not trying to do it. Like, that could be fine, but like I'm not trying to. Run we want, that. of course, we want better. I'm not better. trying to right. run that in my apartment. <laughs> we want you know better, saying? but I'm not gonna yeah, tell my kids house. you can't go over Stephon's house because you only got a uh, one no, bedroom No, 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 that's not it. Not that's that, not but I'm it. Saying, like whole things, like you whole, can't host. Whole, whole, like if I nobody was, has a crib, you less likely to host a big thing. It was one time in my at my building when people Thank was coming you. over. She and said, "Not where you are, not where you come from." Who said that? Who? My OG. She probably she, 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 she said all oh, y'all was at her apartment, so of course she says that. <laughs> <laughs> the bad part about it, I don't have, I can't even butter that. The bad part about it, I don't have a response to that. Y'all was right at her house with no blankets on the floor. Like, I'm snitching, mom. I'm snitching. You, you, mom. I'm snitching. Of course it's okay. <laughs> I love you, mom. <laughs> no, no, but I love you, mom. Don't, don't make up for that, nigga. But no, I just, it just, I just know. Like, what we know, what we will provide if we had a house. For instance, when we was growing up, they had no blow-up inflatable screens. I think all of us know we had a house. We'll have an yeah. inflatable screen. We'll yeah. fuck probably have a pool or trampoline. It's just like we know what we want versus yeah, you, what we got. Like, even now, yeah, like, my kids did, been to his did. house before. His kids ain't been out with my husband. They come over oh my, my house. God, his kids stressful, ain't they? No. Now that boy no. is. That no. boy on his way yeah, out. He, he, was tripping, he was tripping in the middle of the night, <laughs> but your lie. kids is, is I just great. want to put on record that. Both his kids is great. I want to put on record that the boy is your godson. That nigga's the worst one. He's great. Baby, my god, baby. He a baby. He no, that out. nigga's that he, nigga's, he said he on this way out. That little yeah. turtle. No, G, he was only a trip when he that when, little turtle uh, was a mess, man. He was only a trip when he woke up in the middle of the night and tried to move. And it's like, bro, why are you <laughs> he, where are you going, sir? He, no, like, Zoe is fine. Where are the you going? Nigga can't bro? stay tonight here. <laughs> do this yeah, call this guy. It wasn't even the waking up, it was like the trying but, to do stuff. It's yeah. like, bro, you can't do nothing. But I feel like I feel like no matter I feel like family, bro, family like it's no other word that ex- that explains love. Like when you when you talk about family, like yeah. you you got family that 
You just don't fuck with. Because at the end of the day, family is family. I was going to tell you. I thought you were going to be like, ain't nothing like family. And it's not, I was going to be like, really? <laughs> what's, wrong, what's wrong with that? No, because you're sitting here talking about you wouldn't go to a fucking thing because your cousin. Because you your cousin. Some family I don't fuck with, gang. See? But, but. At, at the end of the day, for so example, you're going to that funeral. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I'm not a funeral person, and, and it's, it's some it's some funerals. I, I to be honest, they haven't passed yet, and oh God forbid God. they do. <laughs> but no, I feel so like I, I don't even want to know the answer. <laughs> See me, I, I, I've I always know. said it's some funerals I can't picture myself going to because oh, I don't know how I can handle it now. Okay, so I'm not, I don't know. I'm a, I don't have enough hate in my heart. I'm to, a, I don't have no hate. Know. That's the thing. This is what I need y'all to no, understand you about me. We ain't saying you hate it. It's just so funny but listen, that you can't just me. be like, I'm just put this to the side. <laughs> oh, ain't nothing to put to the side. Let me explain this. Yeah, he is a turtle, man. He is a turtle. But let me put this to the, let me, let me, let me, let me tell you. First of all, Steph, you know me. The, 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 the fucks I, I have to give is no, very minimal. No I don't have none to give. But respect will always be given as long as you give it to me. I love all of my family unconditionally, no matter what you yeah. do to me. Even if I don't fuck with you, I love you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I don't do funerals. So I if mean, you... I, I don't know how family, I feel about going to funerals. I've been to some, funerals. but I, don't like, I just... I don't like funerals. Like, again, nobody all, close. to be honest, it's boring. <laughs> well, it's boring. Well, that's you why... I, the, host, the, host, the host is just laying there. So this nigga said the host is laying there. I'm just saying that. So <laughs> and then you got and then and, no, no, no. <laughs> the reason we're here. <laughs> <you know, laughs> no, come on, come on. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be for real. Yes. I'm trying to tell y'all something, man. Now hold Bro, on, hold on. You can't on. tell him shit. I'm trying. You can't tell the whole shit. Him. You bugging, gang. Like, let me say something. Bro, I didn't stop you from oh talking. Oh my That's god! Why I'm but I mic. can't even hear. Bro, um, this man so said the host. The, is I mean, laying, the host is just laying there. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> like, if I go to, I don't do funerals. So I go to a funeral. Oh, god. It's not that I don't care or love whoever we there for, Oof. but. I'm not emotional because I really, like I said, I don't really have a lot of fucks to give. I mean, life is life. I love everybody. I I, I don't want nobody to really die. If, even if I don't know you, I don't want you to die. But anyway, if I'm at your funeral and I'm sitting there and I'm just here, of course, bored because, you know. And then I got everybody crying. Now I'm unco- it's an uncomfortable situation to be in a room full of people crying and you just feel nothing. Yeah. You're just there looking around. You're a shoulder for everybody crying, but it's like. Why you feel nothing? You're talking about for people that you don't really care about, care about like that. I mean, yeah. Cause oh. I, I've been, I, no, I've been, yeah. I tell you, I've been to funerals and I felt guilty before because I wasn't. Because you ain't fuck with. Oh, was like, I, if like, I don't cry, I don't. Well, I ain't been to that. I don't funerals, feel guilty. I just feel uncomfortable. Maybe that's. I, the well, part. I don't feel uncomfortable. It's just I like, be uncomfortable. I know I'm there just to serve, basically. So when, so basically, just when paying I see, respect. You when I see mind, my, you gonna have to get off the. When I see my aunties or somebody that, that really podcast. is crying or some shit like that. Then I just go hug them. Yeah, or some shit. but it's an uncomfortable situation. Well, no, because I'm not. I know I'm there to serve. So Sir it's not who? them. My, they need my. They need my emotional support. My aunties or my. I remember my aunt passed away, right? And I'm. I wasn't really close with her, but my cousin, I was close with. He's a twin. Like we got twins running right my dad, so he's a twin. So like I always been close to him. But anyway, when his mom passed, he's sitting there playing on the drum and stuff. Everybody left. I just sat there with him. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't because it was the hottest drumming I ever heard. It was just like I was like. I'm just gonna I mean, you understand. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I, I knew I could have just left him with the fuck home. I could have smoked my butt <laughs> and been out. But yeah. I was like, I had my and mom and him waiting and shit. It's my cousin. Oh. I had his mom had passed away. Oh, you know what I'm okay, saying? Okay. I, I wasn't crying, but I knew I was like, he needs somebody. I'm you know sorry, what I'm saying? man. You got and, other and then family I keep telling y'all, I'm an empath to a degree. You, so like, I I see people all hurt and shit. I'm like, oh man, come here. Mm. You got other family that say, oh, man, man come here. I'm not comfortable with that. Yeah, I don't man. really cry a lot of funerals. It's definitely, man, like I said, it's definitely funerals that I, I'm talking about ball tears out at. Uh, but it's some funerals I'm just looking around, and I'm just like, and I'd rather Is be your mom else. crying, though? My if she did? My, my mama <laughs> cried over. My mama saw somebody got head on the news and was like, oh, my God. And just started crying. I'm like. Ladies, she might be an empath too. Yeah, but how does she don't need my shoulder to cry? Oh my god, <laughs> she this lady wild, bro. But it, like, I'm not gonna be no shoulder for you. You don't even know these people, and you in here crying like, just yeah, uh-huh. I'm not gonna be that shoulder. Yeah, Ma, I'm not a big I crier understand. too, and like you said, the guilt. Ma. I'm not a big crier. I'm not. Man. I'm not the biggest. I'm not the biggest crier, uh, but I. Yeah. 
Well, you. I just, but fuck. again, I've never. I've never missed yeah, before. and then I also have never been to a funeral where somebody like dear to my heart. You yeah. know, but so, you never um, been to that's like that's like, like no. I've been Ooh, to funerals, but the person's man. never. No, I I don't. I guess, but no, I don't. Know, that's that's good, I know it is, but I, but like I told y'all, I don't know what I'm gonna be like when it happens. No, like, I have no idea good. if I'm gonna even that's fucking be able feeling. to. You know gonna be like a regular person. Not what I mean by regular person. You gonna react have a, a person that feels like yeah. whatever you feeling like gonna react. That's so just scary to me though, because I've never dealt with. Like I lost when I was young. I lost a cousin right. that was, uh, give or take ten to. 13 years older than me. This one gave you the Cubs jacket. He gave you that. The one that gave me my Cubs jacket. Yep. He gave me my Cubs jacket. So, and then, and, and we was, we was close, you know, but I, I was young was one, kid, yeah. you know, we wasn't kicking it all the time. You know, he was yeah. my older cousin. It just looked out for me. You know, I lost the auntie that I only saw once in the blue moon. Yeah. Other than that, I ain't lost nobody super duper yeah. close to me. So, well, um, that's good. Yeah. yeah. That, no, but, no, 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 no. I'll just say, but that's a blessing, though, yeah. man. Man. Like, I've lost, I don't like it because I don't know what no, I'm going to feel like. I would like. say from a what? person that wants to I don't know what I'm going to feel like. I would say, I would say look, you just going to react. Like I said, however a regular person will react. So however you react is 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 totally normal because if somebody's hurt and they just bawled out and they don't know, that happens to people. There's been a hundred funerals. If somebody that yeah. you just sit there and you just feel unaffected, that happens to people. They've been to a hundred funerals. So there's no wrong way of... It's just when it happened, it's just gonna happen. I'm trying to hit this. Look, you doing shit, G. Uh, what the hell you done hit? And you gonna you know. feel how you gonna feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, I, I got I got I got I got it. This nigga said, I, 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 what you say? Oh. I feel a way because you you said you felt some type of way because uh you don't know how you gonna act. I no, I don't feel a way. I'm scared that I don't know how I'm gonna you should react be scared. when I, when it happens. You should be scared because it's it's dude coming from no a nigga. Fun. But I mean, like I said, I've, I've been a fa- shit nigga. A dude who don't I don't care. I don't shed. Painful, t- first of all, if I shed tears for Michael Jackson and Nip, no, uh, of course I'm it's a, different. But, it's but different. the note, but but that's my tears, point. That's my I, point. I don't care. I, I shed tears on somebody I never had a conversation with. But so, but that's if it's somebody I love, I'm trying to tell you, I shed tears for Aaliyah. I was in love with that bitch. I don't care what nobody wow. said. Wow. Hey, yeah, Leah, that bitch, bro. I'm even, telling you. Even, you couldn't even uh, say, spare tears. that for the situation? You couldn't spare that word for the situation? Can, first of all, my mom, my daddy taught me how to use the word bitch, and they ain't going to. That, that ain't got nothing. I'm talking about just out of respect. Hey, bitches. Look, I, I just okay, out of respect for my mom, I won't say it, but she taught me how to say it. I'm not talking about them hearing you. I'm talking about Leah. No, I, hey, T.R. Williams, major blessing. But coming yeah. from a nigga who, who, like I said, shared tears for people like Ali, I never had a conversation with. I was young when she died, but I did shed a tear or two. But I also lost like brothers, mm-hmm. like like brothers. I'm talking about like brothers. They couldn't yeah, be. No I lost friends from college. But you should be, you should be so thankful, bro. Because I kid you not, I, to this day, and I'm over now. I'm not. Yeah. I ain't shedding tears now because I'm not no like that, but. To this day, G, my family is still hurting. And not only do I hurt for they lost, I also now hurt for my family, who I know is still hurting. You know what I mean? And that's a more that's an extra burden on top of dealing with the loss that you dealt with too. For example, my brothers, we all lost the same person. Mm-hmm. We all know the same person, the same equally. We yeah. all spent the same time. So them he hurting his own way, I'm hurting my way. But the fact that me, I know that he's hurting. That's mm-hmm. an extra pain on top of the pain I'm already dealing with. So the fact that you ain't dealt with that yet, bro, I'll just tell you, G. Like, it's, I mean, it's, I guess I can love. see it from that that's point of view. It's kind of like to go this long without having to do it. Hell with yeah! Them, I, I hope you go. Sca- I'm just I scared go, of that day. That's all. Many I'm more just years. scared of that day. I hope you go many more years, G. I hope you go many more yeah, years, many more I'm blessings. Just scared of that day. But to end on a lighter note, get off of death. I right say quick. brighten this shit. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, we we just been on this dark stuff for a minute. My last, my last, my last, uh. My last topic, I want to I wanna ask y'all, how do y'all feel about side sneaky links? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I mean, nothing. sneaky links is all great. I know that, so y'all have to answer that. But what I'm saying is, um, no, I'll drink side though. How y'all feel about, like, uh, y'all get to, I'm going to go off live in a second. But uh, how y'all feel about uh, drinking or hanging out with coworkers, man or woman? Like. Don't look, y'all already know. What do you mean? I like, know wait, wait, wait. I, I need more detail. Like. Like, are these my people and we kick it regularly because these we met co-workers. as co-workers? Yeah, yeah, or is it a co-worker outing and we're going to... No, no, no. Y'all, y'all at work eight hours a day, you know, five days a week. And just at some point, y'all like, hey, after work, let's go to a bar. 
And then y'all, y'all go to a bar. You, I mean, at work, you you get relationships with people you see yeah. on a, on a regular. You are gonna build a relationship, even if it's just a, a high and by relationship. Mm-hmm. You are gonna build some kind of relationship. Mm-hmm. I just ask, how do y'all feel about like? I don't know. You know? Well, me, I make my sure. Y'all already know it's hard for me to bring people in. I don't be bringing new niggas in. So, me personally, I don't really be trying to kick it with. You people don't be over. bringing new niggas in. No. You just had a baby. That's a new nigga just brought in. <laughs> no, I don't even really be saying anything. Like, he just brought a new nigga into the group. He wasn't welcome. We didn't plan him. No, uh, no. I really be he just called me one day. I'm man. having a boy. Like, the fuck? Because you, you know what? Man, every, every job that works there, man, co workers is always on up. some fishy shit. Like, like, they'll get mad at you, then they'll try to turn the gun on some shit you do or some shit like So I just. I I'm alone. sorry that you've dealt with that, bro. I've never dealt yeah. with that. Like, no, like, if like, if I felt like, like uh, I've never befriended a coworker that I thought was snake. Like, I've never had a coworker like flip on me. Basically, <laughs> yeah. if I've actually gotten to know them, so, now if I ain't so know you, all your years in dance, nobody flip. You just said coworker. Ain't that ain't that working together? You, I'm talking about a job where you get yo motives is said, different at a dance team and a, a job, lying. bro. Oh, you you yeah. be lying. No, nigga, when I never in this conversation thought about my fucking dance team. That's not to say That's I never. You I didn't. I didn't get paid. You're working together. We had different motives. Different motivation. You're working together. No, that's not together. the same thing. Oh, okay, that's yeah. like saying if I did some community service, like none of them niggas tried to steal the shit you brought. Like I'm not. That's <laughs> community service. I'm not looking at them as people I worked with. <laughs> but you did work with them, though. You that's you oh ain't God, say, right. Man. Get the fuck out of here. Do you want me to answer the question properly oh or not? Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, y'all let me hold. Y'all should have let me hold. So anyway. well, make well. We got to reconsider this whole situation. <laughs> now I got kicked so, out. The <laughs> yeah, they kicked me out. The Nobody podcast. came to see you. Otis, yeah. <laughs> you would be nothing with me without me. <laughs> Yo, that's my shit. Hey, five heartbeats or the Temptations? Temptations. Give me, give me two songs from each. It, you what? first. It, first of all, I don't like the five heartbeats enough. So give me two songs two, from the Temptations. I, then the five heartbeats not in the room. All right, give me two songs. <laughs> but the I think it, they, I think the, the people that sung no, it, the people that sung the music like was this. That's, that's made, not real. That's made of a collective. That's not real. Uh, I was going to say I, I the know. people that sang the music I is a real. But I think it was the four tops. I could be wrong. I think it was the four tops. But it is a real group. Give me two songs from the Temptations. Then what's the girl? Um, and uh, uh Cloud Nine, yeah, nigga, yeah, what's yeah. your point? How do you say Cloud Nine before just my imagination? It doesn't matter. That's you... the best song they got. First, I it's don't the care. Room, <laughs> 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 so wait, wait, you heard what's the song you said? I said Cloud Nine. So you heard Cloud Nine before you, you know just my imagination? I don't know which one I, I heard. From we talking about the movie, bro. Yeah, dude, which one do you like more? I like just my imagination. Exactly. Though. So you had this conversation. Anyway, back to you. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? You ain't shit. Why? Anyway. You like the five heartbeats more? I <laughs> oh, fuck the five heartbeats. I just like just my imagination. Well, nigga. And we should start it. Uh-uh. Running away with no, me. We no, we Whack. Shouldn't. You a bitch anyway. Because it. Whack. Yeah, no. But you, can, you can be the background dancer. <laughs> no. That'll be. <laughs> Whack. He said. <laughs> <laughs> He's dancing. dancing. <laughs> Oh my God! He got COVID. I ain't get kicked out. <laughs> hey, somebody said, "Hey, Tierra Williams said y'all out the group because y'all don't like the five heartbeats." <laughs> she said, "We out the group." She said, "Y'all out the group." Okay. No, no, no. My mom wasn't a bad. Trilla, she said, "Temptations, boy." Right? Yeah, girl. yeah. No, the five Temptations. heartbeats is not a bad movie. It's not. I just the the, the Temptations is better. Temptations like- hey, yeah. So look, man, we finna wrap it up in a second, but I'm finna get these niggas out of some real life. Shit. Shit. Look, hey, y'all. I just want y'all to know this nigga said we not on the time restraint, and he literally is kicking us out. I ain't kicking nobody out. Shit, I still got it. He literally hey, said, we go. not on the time machine. But I'm going to do some real life shit. But Y'all talk about some, uh, what's that, Cloud Nine? Only Cloud Nine I know is about John Legend. I don't, I don't know, know that my, song. That's my guy. He like John Legend. You don't know Cloud Nine? Uh, no. Oh, T.R. Williams, you know Cloud Nine, baby? Boy, why the bye, fuck? Bye, 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 John Legend. Sing it. Bye, 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 what the fuck? Bye, bye. Damn, hey, sheep. Man, y'all like- <laughs> <laughs> this nigga gonna do a split right bye, now bye, while he bye. talking all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he finna dance and I wish I wish split. I could do a split. <laughs> this nigga sound like R. Kelly. I wish I wish. Come on, G. That's not a joke you can make. What? This nigga R. sound R. like R. Kelly. This nigga sound like R. Kelly. Let's talk about R. Kelly. We don't have to. Let's talk about R. Kelly. We don't have to. First of all, I don't think R. Kelly was wrong. We don't have to. Next. Next. 
All right, we can go one more. We 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 under time, bro. No, Why are you man, trying to I kick know. us out? Look, he's he looking at his. He's he like, no, no we can though, we can see. No, 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 I'm not. No, no, no I wasn't what, saying R. Kelly. No, what? Dear. No, he said. He said. Let me see. That much time. We got like no, 20 Kelly minutes, even though y'all not kicking. If I bad. First of all, so go, they, go. For, no, no, no. Can you mute this nigga? No. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna yell this nigga. Fourteen year old. Right, try to talk. That about. don't make it okay. All right, so okay what do y'all? No, that's kind of dark. You too. sold it to me. That's kind of dark now. I just want to know. Talk about. I just want to know. Incest, then R. Kelly. Come no, on. he was talking about incest. Go, go. go At least go. the girl fifteen, but so. one his cousin. <laughs> well, that was a good one. That was a good one. No, he said that at least he said the girl was 15 and it wasn't his cousin. <laughs> no, but now see how you don't just say I would have did it. That wasn't my point. That was never my point. You don't want to agree. I never said I'm gonna fuck my third cousin. How was y'all week? Fuck that. How was y'all job? Did y'all see anything crazy this week? How was y'all week? You like you on live on my phone. This What's week? crazy happening this week? What's today? Well, you know how I work. No, that's what shit. I'm asking you. I, I, it's something crazy happen every day at my shop. What's the craziest? <laughs> Did you learn the craziest, anything? But I do. I got I something. ain't learned nothing. But the craziest thing I, I've learned this week that it's this dude. And oh, so I, I, I have to ask my lady. You, you. What the fuck? Just tell me. What's wrong with this guy? No, nah, dude, that noise was funny. And I can't wait till you hear it back. <laughs> Whack. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, the crazy thing I, I, I found out this week, it, and what I told my girl, it's like you never really know who you meet in life. You don't. Like I can, I can, I can. For example, workers, they work most of the time at, at the very minimum, full time jobs, eight days five. I mean, eight hours five days a week. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, you you meet, like I said, you build relationships, especially if you're there two, three, four, five, six, seven years. You know what I mean? Like you see people every day. Fire kills. Hey, Superfly, my nigga. Oh no, that's that's your that's your sister, right? Yeah. All right, so anyway, um, you can but say anyway, my nigga. Okay, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell your story? Man, <laughs> right, my bad. I don't know, but you said you can say my nigga. Was in here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, so you 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 um, oh, yes, so anyway, you you see people every day. So I had this guy that like I I didn't know his name, and I'm not gonna say his name. I, I found his name, but anyway, every day he seemed like a cool ass nigga, right? Like an average nigga. He seemed laid back and all this shit. So mm-hmm. he cool dude. We had full conversations. Okay, I, 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 found I, I mean to interrupt you, but I did say I didn't meet nobody at work. I did meet the older people. I do fuck with the older people. The old <laughs> ass people at work. Stefan, we know them. you like older. But go women. ahead, but carry on. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going. You're not dignified. dignified. Yeah. Yeah. We, we know you like you, older women. You gotta ignore it. I told <laughs> you, just First of all, you can Anyway, let me get to my story. I keep going. So this week, no. this week. So anyway, long story short. I just found out that this nigga's a murderer. Never. <laughs> Never. He killed his own kid. <laughs> well, how? Abortion? So, I don't even, I don't really know the detail. Like I said, I just found out. This <laughs> I tried to lighten it I up. I was just no, going to say. No, no, abortion I, is. I caught it, and I no, was just no, like, no, no, no. I see the joke, no, no, but he's so, serious. No, I'm dead serious, though. He really no. shot his kid or some shit. Damn, but no, no. man, so, what? Um, like I said, Damn. Do anyway, uh, I did the research because I just found out. Like I say, but he's literally in talks of in persons of interest with the death. Oh, it's not confirmed. To, he did not it. confirmed, but this is what happened. Though. So don't us. say that, right? No, allegedly. no, I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. Though. No, so, say okay, allegedly. Okay, okay, allegedly. I don't anyway. know you, fam. Oh, right. I know you, fam. When well, you see this face, I nigga. I don't know you. I, I ain't no All right. I'm scared. I'm gonna be like, hey, yo, we good. But anyway, no, the story is Innocent. though. <laughs> no, the story is though. This is exactly what happened though. And the DMT is docs tell you this, all this shit. The police tell you this. It's all in the, in the newspaper articles and all that. So anyway, uh, him and his baby mama is not together. They on um. Wait. Oh, okay. Him and his baby I'm mama s- not together. Daughter okay. like he, he got a daughter. She like two, or whatever. And um, he went to drop the daughter back off at the mom's house, uh, apartment building. He uh, didn't ring the doorbell. He just opened the door, left the girl. It's like a double door thing. Mm-hmm. What type of? He just left the girl in, in between the doors and he left. So uh, mom found out that the baby girl was there, gets the daughter. Mm-hmm. Okay. Long story short, the daughter had to go to the hospital. The EMT says she got fentanyl in the system. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, most definitely. Mm-hmm. The EMT says she got fentanyl in the system. He's, no, he, he, he's not able to be contacted. None of that. So, long story short, mom does some research. Call, keep calling the coroner's court, court office. My daughter, the daughter died. Shit. She's steady calling it. Two years old. Steady calling the coroner's office. So, because she just was sitting there. 
Yeah, daughter did. She was just but I mean, like, because she... Yeah. So, long story short, after a year of the mama trying to figure out what happened to her daughter, the dad never not once called. And the last person to see the daughter alive and moving... What's him? What's him? And it's just like, if my daughter died, I would be the first nigga How did you him. not have a... Co- how do you not wait, call the coroner's wait, office? Wait, 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 wait. Where was the mama? The I'm mama sorry. got home. The dad had possession of the daughter at this. And point. he left her in between. The he just dro- he, he's supposed to be dropping her off at to the mom. Right. He never told the mom like, "Oh, I'm here." But I'm at what there. the mom? They never go in the door. You said he she he left her in a doorway. He just dropped off without the mom. Uh, aware. But the mom wasn't aware. How long was she? I don't know how long she. Like I said, I do my research. Okay. But I know for a fact the daughter's dead. I know for a fact. The fentanyl was found in our system. That's I know for a fact. The oh, EMT, okay. The, the he EMT, probably pat, dropped the whole The EMTs damn. called the mom and said, hey, this is what's going on with this. Shit. And so she rushed. But again, she, uh, for a year straight, the mom was calling the coroner's office. And Shit. the coroner told her, like, you the only person calling. It's like, as a father, how do you not call and check up on your daughter? Even if I did kill her. Let's just say I accidentally killed her. I'm going to call the coroner's office like, what's going on? I'm trying to find out getting my kid that fit now so I can give him these shells. That's he, what I'm saying. That's why, uh, that's why you but that's why you saying it looks strong, it's a strong case against no, him. No, no, no. The police is saying because he's the last person that's seen. Yeah, and you and, and, you, and you, apparently you, he didn't seem you concerned. Don't, you, but you don't, who does not do a parent-to-parent handoff? Yeah, you can't. Yeah. If anything, if you did right, that, that's what kid got hit by a bus, then it would be your fault. If you did it and the kid fault, got kidnapped. Like if you left him on the street or something. Yeah, it's your fault. But as a parent, who would Think to just drop the daughter well, off. Well, that's why I said it looks I'm not bad. Even drop the daughter, and the fact that he dropped off and didn't contact the mom. Is one that's thing. why I said I'm, I'm like it just looks bad drop all the around. Off and then t- call her like, hey, yeah, your daughter. And yeah, all you don't that. leave her and then say, and it's yeah. a two. Two, She's G. not 15. Two, G. She can't do. She can be anything, eating two, chips, G. anything in that motherfucker. Anything. Uh, that's two, that's it, it's it's crazy. This is and crazy. All are killing it, dope. You you kind of you kind of it, it tweaked me out because I thought you was finna tell the story of who I knew, and then it's funny too. My topic was why is uh. Murder so easy for people now. Yeah. That's not murder, but it's in the realm if he did it. And I it's like just our rest in peace to my homie uh Andres. I don't know if y'all saw that story about R. the police Andres. officer that 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 shot his his the child the mother of his child in the in the face. He was a police officer in Chicago. Yeah. He shot her um uh maybe a month or so ago. This happened. And and uh and that that's kind of one of the reasons I had this topic too. I'm like I'm seeing murder and it just it'd be like over the dumbest things and stuff is avoidable. It'd be like why is like why y'all how murder in itself is like something you got to live with. And then when you like not in a life or death situation, how are y'all killing people so easily now? And I know and when you when you said like the man killed his daughter, I'm like he killed the mother of his child, and it's like I don't care. What y'all was talking about if she wasn't trying to take your life? I think we just there's don't. no fathomable reason that you're taking the life of your child's I mother. That, I do agree, but I'm as far as like lot. death, I think we just so we just so activated, especially where I came from. We just so activated to death and violence. I'm you know what I'm saying? It's just it's just. But I think that the like, people that execute the thought. They're on another level, bro. No, like, no, especially but, over something that ain't risking yeah, your life. But this is what I realized from from being living in the hood and working in the hood. I see kids that they mimic gun things. All the, it's just like we did that like, too, but we no, don't want to no, kill no, nobody. No, no, we did it. But I do want to kill some people. We Man, shut up. We weren't, we weren't living in the hood where like these niggas really do got guns. It's like uh-huh. when you when I'm growing up and I'm going in these places, everybody got a gun. It's like these niggas really. I could try to talk logic to them. I could be like. Bro, you know that Micah, they don't care. care. They don't care because in their head is really that. Any it's like I'm willing to me, go to jail so for the rest of my they, life for yep, this. Yep, and they don't think about. It. I, I don't think they really change until they get to jail. Until they get, some of them don't even change. It's all right. You know I'm saying? Saying some don't. See, I watch a lot of these interviews about gangs in Philadelphia, gangs in LA. It's just one dude. He was like, "There's like, well, when do you change your life?" As I like, go in jail, he was like, "No, nah, he's like, I went to jail every two years since I was 16." He was like, "He was like, that don't, that don't change me." He was like, "I changed because I I really wanted to change." You know what I'm saying? When you live in that certain kind of life, G, it's just like I think I think they start to feel invincible. Ain't the whole ain't the worst place you can be. You said who? Shit, alive. Well, I mean, it's you worse. Said, There's worse situations because you can be in an inhumane situation. You can be. But, I feel like. But person. listen, but you're not in those <laughs> those. You got a better chance of going to jail than fucking getting in castaway, like deserted on an island or some shit. You like, said what? What? 
He said that's not the worst place like you can be in. I feel like jail is the right? worst place to be in because yeah, some people. I, I drive. I, I do. I, I live. I work in the public, and I see some really bad situations. It's like yeah. you, you. I seen people dig through the garbage can, find rotten milk, and 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 pour it in a cereal box. It's I like, get it. It's like at least jail give you three meals in a in a cot. And yeah, in the winter time, three people, in a cot. They used to really do that in no, like no, the eighteen hundreds. But but in the winter time, not this past winter, Excuse but the winter before that, people were literally dying just off temperatures in the cold. Homeless people. Yeah. Dying. It's like mm-hmm. nigga, just go rob something and get caught. Like, <laughs> you, no, I'm serious though. You will be because even then you run the risk of. I mean, because you run a, on, on the street, but you run the risk. Like of everything he's saying, though, if that's not their life, you but, can't but do you that. I don't think. I think if I was homeless, I probably wouldn't rob nobody. You know what? But you run the now. You got rob nobody just break something just just do anything that oh, you it's good. In jail. I don't want to be in jail. I don't want to be in jail. Be on a, what, on, and, and I time. don't want to be in jail. <laughs> I don't want to be in jail either, but it's Between, the, I don't want to be in the streets bro, either. Bro, I don't want to get my booty took and I First don't want to get no you, fights with these niggas. Taken on the streets at least not. Like, it's not. <laughs> a lot of that like a lot of that don't happen in, like my like bro, okay. <laughs> so I got a lot of family members that be going to jail and shit like that and like from what I realized like them niggas learn how to just jail. You learn how to just live in just jail. Just live in jail. So like my cousin after he went my I had a cousin that went to jail. And he was in jail for like 10 years. Then his son got sent to jail for like Shit. 19 years, right? And he said, you know what? I'm going to ask them to keep me here with him so I could teach him how this shit goes so he'll be all right. They sent him to the same one. His, yep. So I he's wanna, like, so be, yeah, he can know how to live these 19 years. I want to backtrack a little bit, and I want to comment on how people kill people. <clears throat> Go ahead. That's like what I, we're here I, for. I really want to comment on that. Um, like I tell y'all, and, and I'm going to keep saying to y'all, really get in y'all head. I really don't give a fuck. Yeah, what do you mean? Of, but what do you mean by that? Like, I don't give a fuck. Okay, so let me ask you this. What? Do, I, I, I hate to say, I hate to say, I hate to say this. I'm gonna I hate this. to say this. Because I ain't got into the okay, detail you, you of what ask, I'm saying. Do you know, I know I could kill some. Do you know if you could, because that, that, I guess that's what it's getting to. Like, do you know if you if you could kill somebody? Like, would it just be like, no, I, like can, a, I can kill somebody sleep great, to, great tonight. In my uh, opinion, though, I, I, I feel like I, I would You never did it. No, no, hold on, hold on. You wouldn't know until you do you it. You wouldn't know. But in my now, opinion, now I want to tell y'all this. In my opinion, I could like I told to ask your question. I don't give a fuck to a to a to a to a. Um, it's, it, it would be amazing to you if I if I express to you how good. But I've been through. I know you don't, but I think. I think within certain you the fact that you ain't done it says a lot. You know what I'm saying? I like killed anybody? No, exactly. But that's my point. I'm talking about a circumstance that will bring you to that. I so, don't think you're gonna do it just at the first chance. That's because oh no, I feel like no. We we we. I'm a rational that. thinker. The only thing absolutely you said irrational or rational. I'm a rational thinker. Right. The absolute only reason I haven't killed anybody <laughs> is because I haven't literally filled out a flawless way. To not end up in jail with. <laughs> so you don't want to go to jail. No, I, I said that. But if I was homeless, I wouldn't give a fuck. I, I, oh, my gosh. I got a list of people I killed. Yeah, I mean, I think, I if, think, I, if I, I found it. To, okay, ahead, I, ahead, think I, so just, I think sorry, I get what he's saying, saying, but. But no, no. You said, you asked a question earlier saying that um about murder. Yeah, why like, it's so easy. I, why it's so easy. I feel like so many people are pretty much feeling pushed to their limits. Yeah, we only. So they're like, jail don't scare me. I can do time in jail because that's my scary. life right now. It don't now, scare a lot of people. No, it's scary. It's scary. It don't the, scare a lot of the people. The thought that people feel that way is scary. It, is, it is because you can go to the gas station and people are still going to kill you because they don't yeah. they don't feel jail. Niggas like us, that's going with the we ain't, I'm say. Go I ain't going to lie to you. We see nice cars all the time and we see niggas lagging all the time. So we can do it. I'm pretty sure some of us do it if we, if we wasn't <coughs> so scared of jail. Like, oh, I do it and they're going to slap me on the wrist. And I pay a fine or some shit. I sell a lot of cars. They're going to slap me with a fine. Three things. Hold on. I, I'm, oh, I'm wrapping it up. I'm wrapping it up. But as far as killing somebody, I, I, got, a long, I got a small list of people I would literally kill. Like, <laughs> no, I'm serious. It's a small list. About oh three, three, four people. But it's only. I got a small list. I'm just telling y'all these are facts. It's because mainly it's because I really just don't give a fuck. Because if they say I'm going to die, I'm going to be judged in my opinion. I'm going to die at some point in life. I don't know if it's tomorrow. I don't know if it's 40 years from now. I don't know. But I know for a fact my life will come to an end. And I will have to... Whatever happens after life is. I ain't going to go into that detail. But the fact that I'm alive right now and I'm so angry and I just don't give a fuck about a lot of things. Yeah. I can kill some motherfuckers. Yeah. 
I just can do it and and really not be like, oh, I killed somebody. I ain't slept for four days. I keep seeing a person that I killed. Yeah. No, nigga. No. I'm going to beat off and I'm going to sleep really good. So what I was going to say, one of the things is uh, I feel like a lot of us. Oh, my mom ain't on here. I ain't going to say us, beat off. A lot of us living in a, a, in a space where we feel like we seeing so much death and like we might be at a point where like, damn, why am I still alive? Or like, am I next? When you watch all these people around you just drop. That's one thing. So now you're on edge and you're already thinking like you might be naked, especially when you're seeing a lot of people by, like our age of our color and our same city dying by gun violence. Two, the second thing, by being a gun owner, one thing that I know is the niggas that die all the time is the people that's worried about if I'm going to shoot him, be in my right mind. I mean, am I, am I in the right law to shoot him? You worried about like, am I constitutionally right? And then they're going to pick you off. And them mm. niggas not, they, they, because like you said, they come if they want to rob you. And you reach, they know you have a gun. They think you got a gun. They not thinking about no constitutional right. Mm -hmm. So you can't think about no constitutional right for real like that. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying just be out here, just be bogus shooting. But it, it, my cousin told me, he said, that's why all them niggas with them gun, with them gun licenses be getting shot. He like, because they sitting there worried about if they, yeah. right, if, if they, they in the right, if they in the right versus yeah. just yeah. knowing protecting to yourself. Live. And you got to deal, because you got to deal with it no matter what, even if you're in your right. What they tell you, as soon as you shoot your gun, you got to sit there and you go to jail and they're going to find out if you really have to shoot this person. That's why I tell you get... And they're going to give them off anyway. Get, get hunt. And the third, well, thing, the third thing is y'all just seen what happened with, with the dude that killed Young Dolph. This nigga was in jail for rape. Got out for... Nah, no, he didn't go to jail. Got home I don't know rape. what happened with dude. Then one of them, just one of them. Then, another, then he got another shooting at a liquor store. Went to jail for nine months. Came home. What the fuck? Then, yes. Like, four K. you know how many people I know that Did you say killed? rape and then robbery? Yes. yes. And he got out of jail. This is why yeah. niggas not afraid of jail. Like, Damn. The, the, the other thing is, you know how many people I know that went to, that didn't kill somebody? Or that I know people that's dead that nobody found out who did it. I got cousin that got shot. Nobody gets sent to jail. Shit. A lot of people, a lot of people in Chicago, it's so much shit going on that niggas is not getting charged for. Mm -hmm. Like, we got so the they don't care. police. So like nobody, re that's what I'm just getting. Bro to the just said that on really Facebook today. About, nobody really thinking about the cops. The other thing is, I know people that really been in jail. My dad really been in jail a whole lot of times. Like, jail not really what you think it is. Your dad been in jail a lot. Yeah, like he he was going to jail when he was younger. He was going to jail. He used to gang bang and stuff. Then when he got older, it was for stupid shit. Your dad like, had a manager. No nah, man, that's what the point I'm making. That's the point I'm getting <laughs> he to. He said he had a what? Like he said he had a manager. That's the point I'm getting to. Like. It ain't really he went no, back to see somebody. It's Shut not up. really no rape or no, <laughs> no, no shit. Disrespect, no disrespect. It's not. It's not as. I love you, Ron. Is it not as prevalent like, as people no, think? My dad. My, I know. My okay. dad told me he like he like when you old in jail. He like that's pretty much it. He like when you in the county. He like if you were young niggas, you might have to fight. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, if you're not with the young. Somebody like cool. middle aged guys like, like that ain't gang young, banging. Do twenty five. twenty five. I would say like the forty five year old men not probably not, fighting every day. Everybody wants to fucking go home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then when you get to like jail, jail, like that shit don't really happen unless you're trying to play. You gambling. You doing shit that gets you in fights. You yeah. gambling. You want to try to borrow soups and shit from somebody and not pay them back. You know? Yeah. Then you you had a, you had a, asking had a for risk trouble. To yeah, you had a risk to yeah, it's real. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes, they gonna be on the pipe. Watch nah, this. My my jewels fake. <laughs> <laughs> my jewels fake. <laughs> I ain't know they can hear me. Bro, but, off the mic. Man. But no, y'all like, be they're, sensitive. They're not man. really, man. A lot of people, a lot of people that do shit. If you get in a fist fight right now in the bar, you you ass. know for a fact you probably oh. going to jail, right? Especially if you're in a certain area. You in Oakland, you get in a fist fight. You no, for you, a fact. You, for a fact. But no. is that stopping you from getting in that fist fight? I'm not for a fact going to jail, bitch. I got track. I think I ran, bitch. I'm but out. I'm saying, I'm saying, is anything... Because, matter of fact, I'm He's saying you're not thinking about jail. A real situation. You and, you and our other homie, Chris, y'all was at a whole oh, college campus. Oh, this late, motherfucker. Y'all was at a whole college campus about the record, nigga. Y'all not once said, like, it's hella campus police over here. <laughs> it's police. No, man. No, because we get me and my niggas. You, bro, but that's kind of against you, what you're well, with me, nigga. That's kind of against you. Well, that part you grew up with me. No, 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 no. no. Well, I was, well what I'm me. saying is you a fight. Not that no, no, I'm gay. saying a fight is different than <laughs> you know killing somebody. You know you're not that gay. Yeah, but, but still, the thing is this. The thing is this. When you get it. Okay, I, I'm not scared to get into a fight. Stephon I'm not worried about fighting because of jail. jail. I'm talking about killing somebody. Stefan knew you know he was getting out that jail, nigga. Stefan knew. You know you go. No, and this is uh, trouble you know you're gonna get into because now, see that's easy to say, but this is why a lot of black people don't like the law because like 
We can say that, but now oh. it leads into like non probation. The probation likes you from doing this. And now you Fuck got probation. That fees, me and you already nigga. can't get a and job. A bitch. And then that's probation violation because you didn't pay that. Now you're going back to jail. That's why Meek Mill had the big issue. He like, y'all knew I was going to go back to jail. He said, you put me on here for 10 years. You knew I was going to violate his probation. Meek Mill, yeah. man. Ten, 10 years is wild. Meek Mill, wild. Wait, 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 him, wait is that why he went to jail for the Willies? Yes. Because he was, he was still on probation. <laughs> Did he get soft in jail? Was, no. Oh, my so why Drake hold him then? Come on, man. Oh, Drake ain't on Meek Mill. I think Meek Mill won. What as far as rap? I think, yeah. I think, yeah, I think Meek Mill. I like you Meek agree? Meek. No. That's like the first time I ever heard Mallow. I got to put him on camera. What the you first mean? Time I ever heard Mallow disagree with Stefan. I like, I like. It's not the first. It's, it I, is the first. I like. <laughs> it's the first. Why? So the back back didn't murder Drake. I, no, I was gonna say I like everything up to back to back, but he, he the nigga. Wait, he wait. Said, you saying you didn't like back to back? I like everything from me up to back to back. Oh, you mean like? No, we okay. talking about. We talking about in the beef. It was. The it was uh three songs. Uh, Drake came out with some some weak shit. I ain't gonna lie. Me? I ain't like That's the first song. Duppy? No, that was that was Pusha T. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, you know what? You're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. Pusha T is the one who I... No, I Pusha like, T won. Annihilated Drake. You're right. You're I, right. You're right. No, okay, you're right. but we talking right. about Meek, Mill, right. and Drake. You're right. I still like Meek, though. I don't, I'm not I a Drake fan. So I'm going to listen. I listen yeah, yeah. But I'm t- we talking about the beef, though. I'm not though. a Drake fan. We ain't talking no, about said, the fans. Think, you, I just said you're won. right, but then I said I listen to Meek, I'm right. not so a Drake in the, fan. In, okay, my question is, in the beefs, who you think won? What, like, what, it's not... Versus Meek, Mill, and Drake. You said who had the better records to me? Dirt, what, the better and, diss beef, records. Okay, that was my, that's, that's the right question. I'm saying I like Meek records more than I'm saying. And I also say he won because if, if you want to put won. it by collectively. Drake no, ain't won. no collectively. I'm asking your opinion. You think, I like Meek. That's what I just so said. You think, no, no. So opinion, I just said, but opinion, 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 opinion wise, you like versus Meek. just the beef songs. You yes. think Meek won the, the Drake battle. I like Meek more, songs more. If you want to put it in, in the battle. Listen, I can like Are you somebody who know they lost he's the war. He's answering it, but you're just not explaining. He's, I, I he's can, saying I that. I can like somebody who know they lost likes, the war. Right. But that, that's what I'm saying. So did he lose in your opinion? I like him. Like, what, are you, what are you trying to get me to say? Drake, no, no. Drake it's versus. The my thing. bad, my bad. Drake versus like, Meek okay, Mill no, just be He didn't win. Songs. That's what you want me to say. No, I don't want you to say anything. I want you to give me an opinion. Because this is what I'm saying. Because you're not getting what I'm saying. I'm saying. There you go. I like. I'm back on the team. I'm saying. I'm like. You I'm gotta saying, put my blinds in the camera. Look, your ass. I'm saying I like Meek Mill, but if you okay. say if you say so, like just beef the song, battle, just according beef. to all, everything, no, according yeah, I like to you, his music more. Yes, if no, that's what you asking. No, according to like his beef songs. If you say how many songs in your how many songs they come out with just the beef records? Drake and Meek Mill. I think um, Meek only had what two? It was like I think two. Meek had two, and Drake had like two, like or three. three. He had about. Yeah, he no had, he had, he had like a bunch of wax. So out of out of Meek's two and Drake's two. You think Meek will won? I might. I like Meek's records more. So the back to back didn't murder Meek. No, not to me. Okay, I don't want. I don't want. To, but but he's that's why I said, I'm saying that it'll... I'm giving as a whole. Because... No, no. And to you though, I'm not asking okay. as a whole. I'm asking to you. Okay. So my question was answered. Him. But, uh, just I'm saying my question was answered. Okay. What's my your question point? was answered. No, my point is. Do you remember the M- your music opinion is trash to me now <laughs> because okay. Drake Do you murdered me. MGK one. I Do you don't. remember Eminem and MGK? I don't. The only, only, okay. the only Eminem beef I, I recognize well, that's the, the most recent. The Machine Gun Kelly one. Uh, this dickhead. He a dickhead. What? Hey, MGK. <laughs> what you think that stand for? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like him. I don't like Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> but I'm saying you didn't like no, process didn't. it I when didn't. I said oh, okay. it. I didn't. I didn't. So, well, no, no. I processed it as soon as you said the most recent one. I, and I was I was already coming out with the machine. I was like, uh. damn, that sound like the machine. <laughs> But and it then Elvis already. So, do you it. have an idea of the records? Yeah. Who, you, who you think uh, won? To be honest, I know you're an Eminem fan too, I only but to unbiased. One song by both. I don't know how many songs they came out with. One song that was direct. There was subliminals. <laughs> yeah, prior. But, okay, so I only know one song by both. It was Kill Shot a, and, and, and uh, whatever MG Rap Devil. Nah, Rap was, Devil then Kill Shot. Kill Shot was Eminem. Yes. No, it was uh some other song by Eminem. He did, I think, he made it. It might have been not a like. It was whatever it was off not, Kamikaze. It was not a like. It was not a like. Where well, he addressed MGK for something like. that MGK like. said. And one thing that I would have to say, bro, y'all gotta stop fucking with these people, kids, G. Like MG, uh, MGK, you said. Yeah. Uh, I I heard one song. It wasn't a bad song, and honestly, I ain't no MGK fan, but I heard a song. And I'm like, oh, this is a decent song. It, mm. And it was a diss track song because I, I I did a little bit of research at the mm. time. Like, oh, this is a decent song. I didn't hear the 
first attack on Eminem? Because you said he had two, right? He he made a shot at him. First, the Haley thing, and then he said something about That's Eminem in another song. And I like that nigga said, I, I told you you're going to stop coming for my daughter, nigga, and I'm talking about you, Kelly. I was yeah. like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I was, so he I said don't know that, who the fuck you are, Kelly. Yeah, I was that like, I don't know who the fuck you are, Kelly. I was like, man, y'all got to stop fucking with that nigga Eminem, man. That I don't know how Steph feel about that I'm bar. But that, I know how you feel about him. But how do you feel about that bar? Bro. Because I know who the fuck you are, oh, Kelly. Kelly. That bar not decent. And talking about my daughter, Haley, like, y'all gonna- you don't think that bar hey, does not make me I work. know that. I bro. know. It I know it's the bar. That one bar. Eminem make my Fuck shit Eminem. Raise, if yeah. anybody said that, given the did situation. He who you are. He said, you, do, you, do you know he that was, it's a bar? I don't know who the fuck you, know, you think you are, Kelly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> man, he's so old. Oh, Come shit. On, Come man. on, man. His name is Kelly. And he said, R. Kelly. R. Kelly. Come on, my Come Talking about an underage child. Come, I know I don't have to explain it, it to you, but I have you to explain, explain it to, to you. <laughs> you got to explain this nigga, man. I don't know what's wrong with him, guy. It is what it is. That nigga, but, he said, he, but he do give him his flowers when, that, 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 when that, it's that, time. That, it's not the, the exact same thing I was just doing. Hey, 50 yeah. He give him his flowers when he... 50 Cent he, said it best. You put a nigga like Eminem, which I like Eminem's music. Mm-hmm. But his battle raps just make my 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 goose. It, it gives me goosebumps because he's so mm-hmm. cold with it. So Fifty Cent said it best. He said a nigga like Eminem, you put him in his in his most comfort zone mm-hmm. when you're talking about him, because now he can True. literally talk about yeah. you. Me, I'm a guy. I like music. Who it paints a picture for me. I like to read a book that paints a picture for me. I I like I like reading. But basic books is basic books. It might be a good book, but but I like something that like I can damn near. Identify you on the street, yeah, yeah, just yeah. off reading this yeah, book. Yeah. So with a, with a, with a, with a song, it's like I can paint this picture. I can re- either a relate to it or I can at least see where you're coming from. So I'm not saying, in my opinion, yeah, J Cole's the best rapper. That I, I, I mean, Lil Wayne best rapper alive because he's still living. But J Cole's my favorite rapper. But I'm saying he does like, do that well. Yeah. So what I'm saying is like with Eminem, it's like. I like his songs, but it don't paint that vivid people. When that nigga battle rapping, G, it's like, y'all better leave that man alone because he disrespecting mm. your entire character, your that, 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 your entire your family. Like, I mean, they're not playing with niggas out here, bro. Mm-hmm. As far as when it comes to battle. I, I think as far as rap period. I, I think mean, I like him as far as rap, but it don't it don't do that for yeah. me as far as just his basic songs. But when it comes yeah. to battling that nigga. Especially at this age now, he's just rapping a rap now. And right now, he's just rapping a rap. I better leave that nigga alone, man. But. Yeah. Fuck y'all look at me he me. looking at you. I was looking at you yeah. if he was gonna speak. I, I wasn't looking got, at you. I know he got something to say. <laughs> I was just I'm sitting back there like, hey. he not he not gonna say nothing. That's the thing. No better. He I'm not gonna I'm gonna even he not trying to shit on the parade. Like, all your, what all you want me to do? Just be like, yo, this nigga is so untalented. <laughs> That's what you thinking? <laughs> no, 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 no. I just want to tell how y'all feel about him. So. So where we at right now, y'all? Like y'all good? Well, I'm Gucci, man. I don't really like good. this nigga right here, bro. But you I'm funny Gucci. as shit. <laughs> I don't like this. How nigga. you feel? <laughs> I don't like this. Tell nigga, us man. how you feel about him. I ball your blunt up right now. <laughs> ain't no blunt, man. He said, "Ain't no blunt." Ain't no blunt, man. But hell yeah, man. Uh, is it for the topics? Y'all got something else? Yeah, no, we y'all good. want to say? Uh, you went out of your man. way to do hey, that. Man, thank y'all for showing up. Showing up, man. I appreciate y'all for y'all comments, man. Y'all stay tuned till next time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, so we out of here? I mean, I we so. well, I just got off live, but I mean, I y- y'all ain't in the right. I ain't nothing to do. I'm off tomorrow. Yeah. I'm trying to, I ain't. I think Stefan a bitch, but I'm off tomorrow. I ain't got nothing else. I think I want to. Mallow a, a split dancer, but. We could, we could wrap it up. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I that's just a freestyle so. to wrap it up. Nope. Oh, my God. Next time. Ah! Speak to. And <laughs> hey, we're going to do a freestyle next time because they, they scared, y'all. They scared. Speak and to. they whack. <laughs> Speak to what you know. Be open to what you don't. And remember, nothing applies to everyone but life and death. This is Cultural Conversations. Be safe.